Okay, in this video, we're going to look at uh, uh, how to work out derivatives uh, of functions that involve inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, we have at the top here the uh, formulas for uh, differentiating inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, in part one of uh, the uh, our series on trigonometric functions, we have derived uh, the formula for inverse sine and inverse tangent. Uh, right now, we're going to look at uh, some particular examples, um, starting with uh, y equal inverse sine uh, to x minus 1. <clears throat> so for this function, um, it means u is going to be 2x minus 1. So the derivative, uh, according to the formula, is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So that's going to be 2x minus 1 squared. And then this is going to be multiplied by the derivative of u, which is simply going to be 2. So this thing is now going to be the 2 times the square root of 1 minus if we expand this, we're going to get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay, and then now we can remove those brackets. So this is going to be 2 over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. So 1 minus 1. Um, so that means the ones cancel out. So what this thing is now going to be is 2 over the square root of 4x minus 4x squared, from which uh, we can now factor out the 4. Uh, so this is going to be 4 into x minus x squared. Um, and then, of course, the square root 4 is 2. So this is going to be 2 over 2 square root x minus x squared. So this simplifies to 1 over square root x minus x squared. So that is the, the uh, first one. Uh, in uh, part B, we have uh, y equal the inverse tangent or oh, two times the inverse tangent of 2x minus 3 all over 3. Um, so this time our u is 2x minus 3 over 3. So the derivative, according to the formula, for inverse tangent is uh, 1 over 1 plus u squared. So this time, there is this 2, which is given as part of the function. So 1 over 1 plus u squared. So 2x minus 3, all over 3 here, all squared. Then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of u, which is simply going to be 2 thirds. Uh, then the rest uh, after this is just uh, algebraic. Um, so this is going to be 4 uh, over 3. Going to be 4 over 3 here. Then in the numerator, we're going to have 1 plus, if we expand, uh, that is going to be 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 all over 9. Then if we multiply everything by 9, um, we're going to have 12 in the numerator. 
just multiply everything by 9. So in the numerator, we're going to have 12. Uh, in the denominator, we're going to have 9 plus 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So this is going to work out to 12 all over 4x squared minus 12x plus 18. Uh, 2 is a common factor here. So if you divide everything by 2, then there's going to be 6 all over uh, 2x squared minus 6x plus 9. So that's going to be the final uh, simplified expression. Okay, then in part C, we have, uh, let's uh, see again. Part C, we've got uh, the inverse cosine of sine. So y is equal to the inverse cosine of sine x, which means u is sine x. Now, remember... Derivative of the inverse cosine is just the negative of the derivative of inverse sine here. So we're going to take the negative sign there. Um, so going with this, the um, so going with this is going to give us y prime is negative one over square root of 1 minus sine squared, which is going to be our u squared. Then the derivative of sine is cosine, so that's our du dx. Um, so the numerator is going to be the negative of cosine x. Uh, in the square root, we've got 1 minus sine squared. That is the same as cosine squared. So this is negative cosine x divided by cosine x. So the derivative of uh, this function is uh, negative 1. Okay, um, so that's an interesting one. Derivative of this is a constant. Um, at this point, we're going to uh, yeah go to example number D. Uh, so in example number D, we have got um, the inverse tangent, um, inverse tangent of one over one minus two x. Uh, so u is one over one minus two x which we're going to write as 1 over, sorry, two, 1 minus 2x to the power negative 1. Okay, so the derivative is going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 minus 2x, all squared. Then the derivative of u, here we're going to multiply by negative 1, subtract 1 from the power, so it's going to be negative 2. Then multiply by the derivative of 1 minus 2x. So this thing is going to end up being positive. Um, so this is going to be, if we bring the 2 here, going to be 1, uh, 2 over 1 plus 1 over 1 minus 2x all squared times 1 over 1 minus 2x all squared. Then if we multiply out in the denominator, uh, so um, this term times 1 is going to be 1 minus 2x squared and uh, this times this is just going to give us 1. Okay. Then expanding, uh, 1 minus 2x squared is giving us 1. 
minus 4x plus 4x squared and then plus 1. So the denominator is going to work out to 2 minus 4x uh, plus 4x squared. And then 2 is common now, so dividing everything by 2 is going to give us 1 over 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared. So that's going to be uh, the simplest uh, we can express uh, this derivative. All right, um, we are now going to give you the opportunity to have a go at uh, E, F, and uh, G. Uh, you might want to pause the video and then when you play it again, you can compare with our answers. Okay, um, we're now going to scroll down to our answer for uh, E, F, and G. Um, so for E, we've got inverse sine of X minus 2 over 2, which we can write as X on 2 minus 1. Uh, so, the derivative is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus x on 2 minus 1 over squared. Derivative of u is 1 half. So, we just expand the brackets here. Remove brackets and the 1 cancels out. Uh, then if we write this as 1 fraction, it's going to be 4x minus x squared over 4, and then square root 4 is 2. So then these two, we bring it up in the numerator. And so this is going to be 1 over square root 4x minus x squared. Uh, in f, our u is 2 on x. So again, inverse cotangent is simply the negative, the derivative. Inverse cotangent is simply the negative of the derivative of Cotangent, so it's going to be negative 1 over 1 plus 2 on x all squared. Derivative of 2 on x is negative 2 on x squared. So then just simplifying here, this becomes 4 over x squared. Bring this 2x here, then multiplying the x squared into the denominator gives us 2 over x plus x squared plus 4. <clears throat> For g, we have got uh, inverse secant called hyperbolic cosine x. So u is hyperbolic cosine x. So plugging into the formula gives us 1 over u into square root u squared minus 1. Derivative of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine. And then... Um, this is going to be hyperbolic cosine squared because the hyperbolic uh, uh, functions satisfy this relationship here. Hyperbolic cosine squared minus hyperbolic sine squared is equal to 1. So hyperbolic cosine squared minus 1 is hyperbolic sine squared. Uh, so that is going to be sine, and then the sines cancel out. So this is just 1 over hyperbolic cosine. So this is a hyperbolic secant x. All right, brings us to the end of that. Thank you for watching. Um, please uh, do remember to subscribe to support the channel and uh, like the video. Post your comments at the bottom. Thank you.